The course has been developed in partnership with the Innovation Agency and Connected Health Cities. It has a purpose to enhance the capability and capacity within the system for utilising evidence to inform the development and delivery of patient services. Previous participants have been commissioners, GPs, frontline staff, and, and that mix helps to get a better understanding of the system and what changes need to happen in order to improve patient care. So really it's, it's applicable um, to anyone working within health and social care who um, has the uh, potential to make changes to practice. Connecting Health Cities is at a simplistic level, it's about how can health and social care do more with data. It looks at it from a technical perspective, a clinical perspective and an industry perspective. Everybody who can positively contribute to creating better data and making better use of that data are an audience for Connected Health Cities. When we recruited the course, we intentionally looked at people from a geographic dispersion across the northwest coast, but also from different backgrounds and different practitioners. So it's relevant for people who have data within their everyday operational lives. The course covers a range of modules. Some are very technical operational tools around project management, how you establish a business case, develop risk management tools, you know, very kind of operationally oriented tools. It combines a number of elements of online academic delivery, face-to-face -face workshops with experts from within the system, mentoring and coaching for the students so they can understand more about themselves and their organisations, and work-based learning so they can um, um, implement change in practice. The course also expands out into cultural change and uh, sort of human dynamics. How, how do you affect and deliver change in an organisation that's ostensibly about people? And it gives you the tools and techniques to apply a level of reflection that you wouldn't have necessarily done on your own, as well as an opportunity to kind of interact and network with other people and you know, discuss some of your issues and some of the problems that you're facing on a day-to-day -day basis. We have done up till now one module successfully completed and passed that as well. But then the next ones are about uh, giving me more information and knowledge. Getting groups of staff to work differently, think differently and change their day-to-day -day habits is, is a dimension that I've always been aware of but never really, I suppose, thought about. So for me, taking some of those practical tools away and actually working with clinicians differently is going to be really valuable. The benefit I'm going to get from it is around the quality improvement methodology and how we implement that. So my work is around the commissioning cycle and bits of transformation, so learning new tools and techniques and having a network of people working in different organisations to bounce ideas off and understanding how we can apply those tools and techniques is something I'll take forward in my role. The appeal of the course was that it was about how do you demonstrate evidence-based learning? How do we make a change in evidence that it's actually having an impact? And I certainly found it very beneficial and has changed my learning uh, and, and approach as a clinical commissioner. As part of workforce development, which is a really critical element of what Connected Health Citizens is trying to do, we're talking to people about their attitudes to digital, their attitudes to data and how those tools can we use more productively. What I would really hope for is that we create and support a cohort that can go back to their jobs and their positions and embed this new learning within there, but also then cascade that learning out to help others understand and more productively engage with data within health and social care. I think there's a huge role for this kind of delivery and we're really, really keen to see it go forward.